Nikon just announced through a press release that they're entering into an agreement to acquire Red Digital Cinema, which is incredible. I've got the I've got the press release right here. It says Nikon Corporation hereby announces its entry into an agreement to acquire 100% of the outstanding membership interest of Red.com LLC, whereby Red will become a wholly owned subsidiary of Nikon. And then it kind of goes on with more press and legal jargon and then introduces Red Digital Cinema to the reader. And you got to remember, like Nikon is a publicly traded company, so they have investors and stakeholder, stakeholders all over the world that may not know who Red is. So, you know, in this press release, everybody watching this video probably knows who Red is, but that's kind of why you're probably reading this like, well, of course, duh, everybody knows who Red is. So Nikon acquiring Red and it being a wholly owned subsidiary of Nikon. What this probably means in the future, and typically with wholly owned subsidiaries, is Red is going to like stay as Red. It's not going to be like the Nikon V Raptor X. Typically, wholly owned subsidiaries just kind of are their own brand. If you look at Disney, they have they own Marvel, which is a wholly owned subsidiary and Lucasfilm. And even in our own industry, you've got the Vitek Group, which owns a ton of brands like Small HD, Wooden Camera, Teradek, O'Connor, Zockler, Vinton, Joby, Manfrotto, a bunch of these different brands. And I don't know if those are all wholly owned subsidiaries or if they are just subsidiaries. I'm not sure of how how all those are set up but even still nikon acquiring red and owning red my guess is red is going to look and operate at two like from the consumer's perspective as red as it always has been they're just going to have more access to manufacturing and you know more manufacturing facilities manufacturing lines to maybe mass produce sensors and camera bodies and all that kind of good stuff and on the flip side nikon also gets access to a lot of intellectual property that red owns like their compressed raw and their color science and you know be able to maybe implement that stuff into their mirrorless cameras to you know give r3d and the ipp2 image pipeline and all that stuff to some of their mirror camera mirrorless cameras like the z8 and z9 and all those that's really cool so this gets me excited for a couple of reasons as a consumer and as a red user and i am looking for a new mirrorless camera probably this year so um we might be i might be switching to nikon so here are like some of my like wish list my like hope items that we see from this acquisition number one just like what i mentioned hopefully red is able to kind of operate at least like from the consumer side red will still be red it's a relatively small company compared to nikon especially and you know working with like customer service and you know even like jared hopping on like the facebook groups and different live streams and comments and stuff and as a consumer you think like this is like the biggest company ever like i'm a huge fan of red i've been shooting red for but primarily on red for the last few years. I absolutely love this. this is the Komodo X. Absolutely love this camera. I'm shooting Komodos, V Raptors, all that kind of stuff. Absolutely love them. And it's really cool to see the president of your favorite camera brand be so engaged with the community. So I hope to see that side of things kind of remain intact. The next thing would be really cool is to see the Z mount come to all of red's camera bodies so like the komodo x have a z mount and you know it'd be actually really cool if you could send it in for like an upgrade or whatever to get the z mount and re reason why that'd be cool is because you can adapt even more lenses you can actually adapt e mount lenses to z mount which is pretty cool and then you can obviously put you know pl and adapt pl and ef and all that stuff to it as well so that would be pretty cool to see but also what i hope to see is Red kind of lean into Nikon's R&D department to improve the autofocus that's already built into the Komodo, Komodo X, V Raptor, and all that. I doubt the Komodo is probably going to get much more love just because it's like max out on firmware. But Komodo X and V Raptors, if you know the sensor and everything hardware is capable of it but if not then i'm sure in the future with you know dsmc4 cameras or you know upgraded versions of what you know v v2s of these cameras or whatever will have you know some better autofocus and all that now from the nikon side of things how epic would it be to have red's color science and red code raw in their mirrorless bodies i mean that would instantly influence my decision to get rid of all of my all of my other camera bodies and just 
completely be in the Nikon and RED ecosystem. Getting RED code raw, I absolutely love the R3D codec. It's such an easy codec to work with. The colors, I, I personally love them. That's obviously subjective, but the, the RED code raw, the R3D codec has so much color information that you can really manipulate it to look any way that you really want, which is awesome. It's supported by every NLE and with Nikon now owning RED, they could mass produce red sensors to put into their mirrorless bodies. I mean, just imagine having the V-Raptor X sensor in like a Z9 Mark II or something with, that records internal red code raw, has IBIS, autofocus, and is also an incredible stills camera. That would be pretty epic. Like I'd 100% just completely switch over to Nikon if that were the case. Now, Nikon has been releasing really impressive cameras. Like if you look on paper, the specs are insane, but I never really had it in my head to consider switching over to Nikon just because I'd have to invest in a new lens mount and all that and blah, 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 blah. But if they were to start putting R3D in their mirrorless bodies and even, you know, maybe even putting red sensors in their camera bodies, then that would be like an easy switch for me because that is a workflow improvement by just having the same codec and even the same sensor and possible color science. That just means that like you could get a Komodo X or a V Raptor in just a different body that could also take stills that would make it a true hybrid and actually probably like the best hybrid camera on the market. So that would be pretty bananas if Nikon implemented some of that stuff into their camera bodies. This is going to be an exciting year. Uh, I think NAB is going to be an interesting year, but I have now a very heightened interest in Nikon and their camera bodies. So, um, yeah, hopefully I can test some out at some point. If you're anybody from Nikon's watching, maybe email me. <laughs> probably not there. No one's probably watching this. There's maybe like five people that are going to watch this. Because um, I doubt YouTube is going to push this video. But um, anyways, that's pretty much all I have thoughts-wise for this. Now i got to go edit this and um, get this up on YouTube when I should be finishing up my taxes. But here we are. Peace.